Hi. Hello, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a new palette um, that I want to do several looks off of. And I've already done one green look, um, but it's actually the Glam Light, the Scooby Doo. And so it's holographic. It looks like Scooby here. And then you change it around and you got the whole gang. So, yeah, kind of pretty cool. And yeah, I think it's fun. So um, as far as what I have on for base, I went ahead and used the Glow Oil by Supergoop. And this one is in 50. And then I went ahead and used the uh, Pretty Fresh. And this is the one in uh, Warm 53, I think. Since I've been doing self-tanning, I'm using a darker shade right now. And I did go ahead and use the Pretty Fresh. Um, again, Pretty Fresh is ColourPop. And I used uh, their concealer. With Pretty Fresh, you can get that over at Ulta. You can also get the Super Goop over at Ulta or over at uh, Sephora. And um, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh, again, over at Ulta, Target, or on their website. And um, so I think that's what I have on for my base. I did go ahead and do bronzer, and I used the Wet n Wild, uh, the Bikini Contest. And this one I'm liking a lot because it has a lot of red in it. So that's what I have on for my bronzer today. Went ahead and used the La Cienga uh, from ColourPop as far as the lips and the uh, ColourPop lip oil as well. So that's what I have on there. And then getting on to the palette, uh, the Scooby-Doo palette again. Yeah, with all of its really cool holographic everything. Um, actually... Before we go there, let's go over to the blush. So I did pick up the Glam Light blush. And so it has Scooby and Daphne and uh, Velma. Yeah, Velma. And then if it's holographic, so you'll just see them and then you'll see Scooby. So yeah, way cool. And uh, I did go ahead and mix the blushes today. I went ahead and used Coral on the back of the cheek and then the pink on the front of the cheek, and it uh, they blend really well. They blend really well with each other. They are definitely very, very matte. They don't have any, any shimmer whatsoever in them. Um, and I did go ahead and use the uh, Seismic by ColourPop over the top as far as a highlighter today. And uh, yeah, and now we can move on to this one. So, um, as far as what I did today, the first look I did was a green look. And um, I had that available if you want to go ahead and watch that. And uh, today I went ahead and did a blue look. Uh, <clears throat> I went ahead and put this one in the crease. And then this one on the outer corner. And these are both mattes. Uh, this one actually is a duochrome. And it's what I have on the lid and on the inner corner. It's really pretty. Um, let me see if I can get a swatch here. I don't know if you'll be able to use, see the duochrome. Um, but it goes, yeah, purple to gray is pretty much what it does. And it's very, very shiny and very, very pretty. And then I did go ahead and use uh, this for the eyeliner. So I did this on the inner corner, or the inner corner to halfway. And then I did this uh, color f uh, halfway to the outer corner. So I do have two colors on there. And um, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, I used uh, some of this in the outer corner as well. And I think the look turned out really pretty. It's a really colorful palette. There really aren't any neutrals in here. So if you're looking for a neutral um, inner corner or right under the brow, you're probably going to have to bring that in. Um, but for somebody who loves colorful looks and summertime looks, uh, it's a pretty amazingly uh, good palette with a really 
pretty, uh, the formula is just really nice. The, mat, the mats are very, very uh, buttery, and the shimmers just have a lot of sparkle to them. So as far as the way that the eye look came out, that's, um, and I did try to take it darker so that I, you know, did get a darker look. I was such, I was such playing around as well. And so I went ahead and used the e.l.f., uh, the brow lift. And so, yeah, I'd gone ahead and picked this up and I have a really big gouge in it where the first time I used it, I got way too much. Um, but so, but, but so kind of, uh, <laughs> This is this is what I have in the brows today, and I did. Um, they are, yeah. I I could, well, I'm not sure. Yeah, they are shellacked pretty much, um, but I don't have a ton of brows, so it doesn't, you know, make a big difference on my brows. Um, did go ahead and use. Let's see, the next thicket stick it and light ash brown. These are what I used on the brow. And um, I did go ahead and use the Glowish powder as far as the finishing powder. And this is the one in Fair. And this is by Huda. So this is what I have on as a finishing powder. I do think that the palette is really, it's really nice quality. It's really fun. I would definitely suggest going ahead and picking it up. Um, I'm not sure how much longer it's going to be on sale. They said that, well, there is a delay in shipping, and they said that um, it's not going to be available for very long. Uh, there are a couple other palettes. It's a really big collection. Let me go and grab the other palettes. I'll be right back. Okay, so um, like I was uh, saying, there are a couple of other eyeshadow palettes in this uh, particular collection. And so the first one is called uh, Rut Row Reggae, and it looks like this. Um, it has two, four, six, eight, ten shades. So you, half of it's matte, half of it is going to go ahead and be uh, shimmers. And again, the Glam Light Shimmer formula is pretty extraordinary. And so that's Rut Row Reggae. Uh, the other one is going to be Creeps and Crawls. And uh, so this is the way that it looks like. It's a little bit deeper palette. And again, 10 shades, uh, five mattes and five shimmers. That's right, right, two, four, five, yeah, I can count. And so uh, this is the other one. Um, these are both available on the Glamlight website as well. And these were the first ones. So these did so well that they brought back and expanded the Scooby-Doo line. It's just the the big palette right now is, um, they said that they were, you know, it was limited to about a month, maybe a little bit more as far as ordering. Um, so I did, well, I was on the website last night and it is still available. So um, it's a really pretty palette. I would definitely go ahead and recommend it. Also, the blush palette, uh, these blend really nicely, and um, they are very pigmented. Again, they are matte. Yeah, they are definitely a matte, and, um, but it's a really pretty palette as well, and there really isn't anything in this particular um, collection that I wouldn't recommend because they all work really well. And I think that's just about the video for today. I hope that you have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye. And see you later.